Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So it's that time of the month again. I'm gonna show you and talk you through all of the products that I have been loving throughout November. So yeah, let's get cracking with it, eh? Right, first things first, I'm gonna start off with um, some hair products because basically I went away to, well, where have I been? I've been to LA, I've been to Vegas and whatever. And over there, my hair just wasn't, it just wasn't in its best condition. I feel like when you're traveling and all of that, you don't really get time to mask your hair. Well, I didn't because, you know, I was hitting them clubs. So anybody got time to mask their hair, you know, before bed and all of that. You're lucky if you get some sleep let alone mask your hair boys. So I've come back now from all of my travels and um, I've been taking care of my hair and honestly this has just spruced my curls up real quick. I haven't even needed to mask my hair yet because this shampoo and conditioner is just already showing my hair so much love. It is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. This is amazing because it is sulfate free so if you have curly hair and just in general I just feel like we shouldn't use shampoos and conditioners with sulfates in them because they are damaging for your hair. It's not the best thing and especially for a curly haired girl sulfate free is the way to go. Also this has six feather like oils to help soften, silk, contain, defrizz, detangle, protect, all of that. It does do all of that. It makes my hair feel really nice and moisturized and healthy and it feels really nice and soft as well. So I really, really love that. And what I also like about the, this is all Bumble and Bumble shampoo and conditioners, I think, but especially they're like ones for dry hair or curly hair. The conditioner bottle is bigger than the shampoo bottle because who actually finishes both at the same time? Not me. I always always finish my conditioner before I finish my shampoo so it's so good that the conditioner bottle is bigger but yeah these two together are amazing it's for dry to very dry hair and my hair has been hella dry especially you know because of the color especially because I've been in the sun as well so it's just been dried out and yeah it's about time I showed it some love but yeah if you have super dry hair or curly hair definitely check out this range from Bumble and Bumble Bumble and Bumble oh my god such a mouthful Bumble and Bumble next up is some skincare that I want to talk to you about one of them is a moisturizer and this is from Clinique, it's the moist, I can't say this word, moisture surge, moisture is such a hard word to say right, with the word surge, moisture surge. Is it just me? It's a 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. This feels so nice to apply and it honestly feels like you've given your skin like a massive glass of water to drink when you apply this. It's super nice and lightweight. It works into the skin really nice and quickly so you can just get on with doing your makeup straight after. It's just a really beautiful moisturizer and I believe it's great for most if not all skin types. So if you are on the hunt for a new moisturizer, something that is going to keep you hydrated all day, and then definitely check out this bad boy right here. Next up, I have a skincare product that I've been loving, and it's the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil, and boy, this is luxury. It really feels so nice on your skin. I feel like it's one of those one-stop shop oils, like it's like a product that is just like, it does so much, like your skin needs this. It's such a nice product to apply before bed, I find, uh, because it's not like super shiny, like it doesn't sit really heavy on your skin. It doesn't give your skin like that really like shiny oily residue. It just sinks into the skin really nicely. So you know that when you put your head down on your pillow, it's not gonna like just be everywhere. It just actually works into the skin really nicely. It says on the bottle that this is like rehab for your skin. It's rich in antioxidants and omega-6 and 9. Marula basically balances and nourishes your skin, I believe, yes, while restoring a youthful glow. So like I said, it is kind of those one-stop shop facial oils. Amazing. <gasps> wow. Amazing to use before bedtime. And I just find that the Drunk Elephant products, they are products that actually work. Like they do so much for your skin. You're going to see results. In fact, if you want me to do a full video on my favorite Drunk Elephant products and products that I found really, really work for me, then hit that like button girl and comment down below in the comment section. And I will definitely do that for you because I think it will be really helpful, um, especially since it's a new brand here in the UK. And 
and you know, I just want to help you out. But so far, I am really, really loving this oil. Moving on to a couple of makeup bits. I've got a primer from Becca that I've been absolutely loving. And this is the First Light Priming Filter. As you guys know, I love the Backlight Priming Filter, which like I've totally rinsed on my channel. But Becca actually kindly sent me this not too long ago. And I've used it a good few times and I'm like, oh, Damn, this one is good too. It is super refreshing on your skin. It feels really, really nice. It's got a really nice refreshing smell to it also. I like how this makes your skin glow and look healthy and feel healthy in less of a highlight iridescent way like the backlight priming filter. This gives your skin a really nice natural healthy look and feel before you put your makeup on and I feel like it does hold your makeup on also. So yeah, definitely check this one out. As an alternative, if you don't like primers that have like, you know, glowy, actual glowy products in there, if that makes sense. Speaking of glow, I have a product from Laura Mercier that I'm actually obsessed with. This is the new translucent loose setting powder in glow. When I first saw this come out, I was like, how is this gonna work? A translucent setting powder that's glowy is, eh, might not work, but this is beautiful. The way I like to apply this is after I've set my makeup with say, a normal translucent powder, Laura Mercier or Huda, whatever. And then I'll lightly run this over like even my under eye area. I'll go a bit heavier maybe on the top of my cheekbones and areas where I actually want to highlight. It's just such a versatile product. Today I've even got it on like uh, right here underneath where my contour is. I've put it basically everywhere. You could do like a really nice light dust of this all over your face and it's going to give you a really nice soft filtered glow or you could use it as a really nice natural highlighter and use it on the tops of your cheekbones and stuff like that. So it's very versatile, it's very beautiful, super lightweight, the most perfect glow and yeah, I am obsessed with this product. I didn't think I would be, but I am. It's amazing. Like, honestly, if I want to look like, you know, a walking fallen angel, I'm applying this girl. And I think that concludes all of my favorites for November. Like, I literally am obsessed with everything I've shown you in this video. So please check these products out. Let me know if there's anything that you've been loving throughout this month, anything new that you've discovered that you think I need to know about. Let me know. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you found found some new products and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos or follow me on the gram where you will actually find this look right here with all of the details for it. I do try and create a little bit of separate content for Insta so yeah just check me out over there as well but for now guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in oh my god in December. Oh, oh my god it's the end of the year. Okay Mwah. bye! <laughs>